right welcome back and back ah, congrats to us we are now on the alcohols okay so we are now on the second part which is compounds containing oxygen on the first one alcohol pagka alcohol na isip mo agad dumakalak let's see okay so alcohol is a compound that has a hydroxyl group uh, may OH bonded to a carbon atom so si alcohol down ay isang compound na may OH bonded kaya may linya bonded to a carbon atom it is, its general formula is R-OH kung saan si R is an alkyl group si R po pag may nakikita kayo sa mga okay sa mga chem book yan po ay abbreviation na kahit na anong group okay ng carbon or hydrogen atoms attached to the rest of the molecule so anything okay na a group ng carbon or hydrogen yan okay alcohols widely occur in nature so naturally uh, maraming alcohol sa nature natin and have many industrial maraming gamit industrial pharmaceutical and biological applications ethanol CH3 bonded to CH2 and then yung isang uh, bond na kay OH group so for example is a fuel additive so dag pampadagdag sa fuel industrial solvent and an ingredient in alcoholic beverages ayan na nga po no so in alcohols okay it contain it is a function okay a functional group na may kitra din sa alcoholic beverages that's why they are called alcohols so alcohols are classified as primary first degree secondary second degree and third degree depende sa number ng atoms na na substitute bonded to the hydroxyl bearing carbon so this carbon is a hydroxyl bearing carbon bakit kasi may hydroxyl group siyang dala dala bearing hydroxyl bearing carbon this is a carbon na mayroong dala dala OH hydroxyl ang tawag sa group na yan so hydroxyl bearing carbon so nakadepende daw siya okay the first first degree second degree tertiary third degree okay sa number of carbon substituents so this is a second degree alcohol so mapapansin nyo H H hydrogen hydrogen and then hydroxyl group 1R okay the alkyl group first degree pag may two alkyl groups na okay na naka-attach doon sa ating hydroxyl bearing carbon atom and then tatlong R na okay al any alkyl group bonded to the attached to the hydroxyl bearing carbon atom customarily alcohols get their names by appending the suffix ol so pinap napapangalanan yung alcohol okay with adding a suffix okay ol example methane naging methanol ayan sabi so, si methane yung apat na hydrogen na alkyl naging methanol nagdagdagan ng OH na group so methanol na ang tawag some of the properties of alcohols okay, arise from their capacity to form hydrogen bonds so yung properties na uh, alcohols is depending sa capacity to form hydrogen bonds so cold creams, lipstick, body lotions and mga iba pang katulad na produkto meron silang okay, generally meron silang 1, 2, 3 propanetriol commonly called glycerol okay so, in layman's term, glycerol. But that is 1, 2, 3, propanitriol. So, may kita natin dito. Ayan yung niya. Multiple hydroxyl groups, okay, allow glycerol to form many hydrogen bonds with water molecules. So, may kita natin dito, CH2OH. And then, uh, we have here, C this carbon, OH, another OH. And this side, another OH. Okay. So alcohols are sometimes used as alternative fuels, as octane enhancers sa mga sasakyan. Ethanol is combined with gasoline in a 1 is to 9, 1 is to 9 ratio to produce gasohol. Okay? Yung mga wines na inom natin, meron niyang ethanol, may ethyl alcohol yan. Okay? Nakapaiba-iba ang percentages niya. Okay, so ano bang epekto ng alcohol sa katawan natin? No, yung iba, no? Masarap. Okay, to todo-todo, walang control. So, they do not drink responsibly. 
So drinking too much alcohol over a long period of time can damage the heart and cause cardiomyopathy. Pag inom ka ng ihong sa mahabang panahon, toma ka ng toma, no? nomo ka ng nomo, pwede yung magkaroon ka ng cardiomyopathy kung saan na stretch yung, okay, yung heart muscle mo and may pag-drop na ng blood drooping. Okay, arrhythmias, irregular heart, heartbeat, stroke, high blood pressure. Okay, it also affects the liver. Can lead to liver inflammation. Okay, pag mamaga. Okay, such as uh, hepatic, okay, uh, steatosis, fatty liver. Uh, liver na maraming nakatouch na fats. Alcoholic hepatitis and cirrhosis, scars sa liver. It can also lead to pancreatitis, a dangerous inflammation and swelling, okay, swelling of the blood vessels in the pancreas. Di ba yung pancreas very, very important in our digestive system because it produces uh, different chemicals, enzymes na nakakahalip sa atin mag, okay, mag-digest ng food na kinakain natin. So, naka-apektuhan yun because of the alcohol. It can increase we take note, it can increase the risk okay, of developing cancers. Kung meron ka ng okay, cancer na present, tataas pa lalo yung risk mo. Okay? Like on the mouth, esophagus, throat, liver, and breast. It can also weaken our immune system. That's why, okay, kapag uh, may inom yung ibang bao, todo inom, nalalasin, nawawala ng control, okay, nawawala ng coordin- nawabawasan yung coordination ng katawan, Okay, kasi napapahina niyo yung immune system mo. Okay. And, on, and with that, hindi lang basta control, okay, napapahina niya rin yung katawan mo na mag-fight okay, sa mga diseases na yan. So, nagiging prone ka like on the pneumonia and tuberculosis. So, based on that, I hope na okay, as much as possible, do not, okay, do not drink alcohol. Kung gusto mo lang naman ng uminom, no? Para makatapos na agad, huwag mo na po unti-unti, no? Inumin mo na lang yung Green Cross para tapos na. Okay, pero biro lang. So, yun. So, I hope you were able to understand the structure of the alcohols. Okay, ano yung identity ng functional group na alcohol. Thank you.